Speaking of Indiana, LaFonso Ellis, from his <laughs> house to yours. LaFonso, by the way, that translates to the Fonzo. Uh, let's start with the exciting game between the Hogs and the ORU Golden Eagles. I get that the team with the most points won. I'm not so sure the team that played best won. Why is it ORU gave Arkansas fits again? Well, you're talking about a team, especially coming in. In this tournament, they have two absolute studs. Max Acemus averaging 28 points a game coming into this game in the NCAA tournament. Kevin O'Banner, 29 points per game. So you have two guys who can carry your team. And coming into this game, Arkansas had to decide which one of those guys that they were going to take out of the game. In their first meeting, it was Max Acemus. They were able to hold him to 11 points. Tonight, they were intent on keeping the basketball out of Kevin O'Banner's hands. And it almost worked. It almost it, it <laughs> almost worked against them tonight because Max Acemus was terrific. 25 points in this game again. But to your point, John, this game was a little bit sloppy uh, for Arkansas's part. But I think part of it was because they were down early and had to <laughs> trap and try to figure out ways to get back in the game. But I thought uh, Coach Musselman's game plan down the stretch was terrific. He knew he had bigger guards than Devo Davis and Moses Moody and, no, and, J and Jalen Tate. And those guys did a great job of getting into the painted area and taking their time and shooting over the much shorter guards from Oral Roberts. And so I thought the in-game execution from four minutes to four minutes, especially down the stretch, was just excellent tonight for Arkansas. Yeah, that's where I was going to go. We've got praise for you, but Arkansas had to, to, to grind on this yeah. thing. And in the end, at some point, yeah. it helps to just have some more talented dudes than the other team, right? That, that's how it shakes out. Yeah, and, and, and in the first game, uh, Justin Smith was terrific. He had 10 offensive rebounds in that game, and this is a team that's a little smaller than Oral Roberts, so they can have a tendency to give up offensive rebounds. I think Arkansas had 18 at least uh, offensive rebounds in this game. I think 11 of them came in the second half, and so I thought they did a great job of finding areas where they can have advantages and taking advantage of it, particularly in the second half. So it was their bigger guards getting into the painted area, and they were terrific on the offensive glass as well. Those two things allowed them to be able to close the game against a very tough, hard-fighting, defensive-minded mm -hmm. Oral Roberts team. What let's, a great game. Let's talk about the win by the Baylor Bears. Um, they look great their first yeah. two games. Got a challenge in this one. Uh, Scott Drew, though, it's nice yeah. to have more than five guys, and, and you can wear a team down. <laughs> Uh, no, no question about it. And it's interesting, John. I'm sitting next to my wife watching the game. My son's here. My son's girlfriend's here. And at the eight-minute mark, around the nine-minute mark, I said, this is where Baylor starts to turn teams over and they go on these bursts. And sure enough, they went on a 14-2 burst during that time. It was predicated on the defensive end where they forced several turnovers. You're talking about a Villanova team that doesn't turn the basketball over. I think they had 16 turnovers in this game that led to 22 points for Baylor. And that was really the difference in this game. This team has the ability in late game situations to be able to take their defense to another level, force you to turn the basketball over, get out in transition where they're able to get to the basket. And of course, they're the best three point shooting team in the country at 42%. But that's what makes this team so special. Bench Steph, Adam Flagler gets them 16 points off the bench and they can win in a big game in an ugly fashion where they don't shoot the basketball well from the three point line. This is a terrific Baylor Bears team. We have 48 hours to get your explanation. So here, because we're quick, and I, yeah, leave me with this. The, no explanation. Just give <laughs> yeah. me the winner. Who, who do I see Monday night? Hogs or Bears? You're going to see the Bears. Baylor Best Bears. Best defensive backcourt in the nation and their ability to be able to shoot the three ball. They didn't shoot it well today because Villanova made them shoot contested threes. That won't happen again on Monday night. All right. They're going to lock them down. we got to lock you down, brother. Thanks for your time. We'll talk to you again here in the you next couple it. of days. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.